Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am at Value Village, specifically my favorite Value Village. I have not been here in three or four months. So I am so eager to get back into the surf store. I am so excited what I'm gonna find. Overall, I am just in a great mood today. It is so sunny out, it feels like summer. I'm in the mood to get like summer clothes. I do not have a boot on my foot anymore. The doctor told me that I could take my boot off and that my foot's like almost healed. So I am just in like, really good spirits right now because I am so happy that I can walk without a boot and a scooter. I didn't think that I'd be like so happy about that, but I am just so happy to be able to walk right now. And I'm just happy to go thrifting. I'm not gonna overdo it just because my foot is still a little bit broken. It's not fully healed, so I still gotta be super, super careful with it. So I'll be going pretty dang slow today, but I don't even care. I'm just excited to be here, so let's go thrifting. Okay, and now for the men's jeans section, which is obviously pretty much the best section of the thrift store. I was looking through this quickly, and then I saw this pair of jeans, which is like super high-waisted, super nice wash. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure, they might actually be vintage just because the tag is like completely worn. Like, I don't even know what brand they are. It just says 1977. The back tag is completely washed, but these are absolutely gorgeous these jeans i can definitely make these into shorts so i'm picking them up i do not know how much they are so i will have to go get a tag for those Oh my gosh, look at these ones I just found. These are absolutely beautiful. And look at this, Ralph Lauren. And even better, look at this. Just wait for it, just wait for it. Vintage, vintage Ralph Lauren jeans. They are so gorgeous. The only thing is they're a men's 34. So I don't think they're gonna fit me at all. Like I was thinking, I was like, oh, maybe I could cut them into shorts and then make them work, but I still think they're gonna be too big, but they honestly are like the perfect wash. Oh, I love these. And, but they are $15.99. So that's a little steep, I think. I'm gonna have to put them back, but oh, they're so beautiful. I just gotta say the men's jeans section was, was not the best today. It was kind of, CRAP. To be honest, it was. I found one pair, which I think I'm gonna get and cut into shorts depending on how much they are. But overall, I usually find like a lot of Levi's there and like a lot of good brands. But today, not too much. Next section I'm going to is the men's long sleeve section, which is very underrated. I feel like no one's ever in the men's long sleeve section, but I absolutely love this section. I always find such cool stuff, but this section kind of looks a bit scarce. There's like huge gaps here. So I don't know if I'm gonna find anything today, but but we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. Oh, this one's kind of cool, this stripes. I don't mind these stripes, but it is $12.99 and I think it's like from, um, isn't it like a Walmart brand? I, I'm not too familiar, maybe not, I don't know, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna spend $12.99 for this because I'd probably just crop it and yeah, I'm not 100% on that one, so I'm gonna pass. Now that I've said it's a really good section, I'm not finding anything. I just hyped it up for no apparent reason. I do really, really like this button, but it's like buttoned up the whole way. That is really interesting. And it's also not like a dress shirt. It's like this material. I do like this. I think it is a dress shirt, but what if I cropped it? I feel like that's my solution for everything. You know, just, just crop it, which is probably not a good solution. So. Don't listen to me, don't crop everything that you buy from the thrift store, but I'll put it in there for now, I'll think about it. Okay, it's finally time to go through like 10,000 t-shirts and to be honest, I'm pretty dang stoked. I already started actually and I didn't find any two items so far. I found like this really cute like Cuba kind of vintage like tank, which I thought was cute. And then I also found this tie-dye shirt, look at this. It is very wrinkly, so it's definitely gonna need a good wash and probably a good steam, but look at this. It is so pretty, it's nice pastel, I love it. It is $2.99, so even better. I don't know how much this one was, this one was $4.49, so great deal. Look 
this. Finally, no boot and I can wear shoes. This is the first time I've actually like worn shoes in three months. This is a really, really cute vintage skirt. Look at the tag. It is, what brand is it? Smart set. And it says it's 11, 12, but I would say it's more like a size six just because it's vintage and it does not look like 11, 12. It looks pretty small. I really like this, but it is wool and that is gonna be way too hot for summer. And I already have a wool kind of skirt. So I'm gonna leave that, but 8.99, that's pretty good for a vintage skirt. And it's like really good condition. I really like this. Yeah, this is really cute. Ooh, this is a cool skirt. I love this corduroy. I am obsessed with corduroy, especially this color. It's $8.99. Um, it is a size four, 26 inch weight. So that is my size. I really like this, but maybe I could crop it because I'm not a huge fan of this length just because it's like past my knees. Um, I don't know, it's hard. I'd really have to try this on to know if I would like it, but let's put it in the cart and hold on to it right now. Ooh, this skirt is really cute. I love linen. I absolutely love linen, especially this color. This one's so cute. Don't know what size, size eight. So I don't think it will fit me. It looks a bit big for me, but oh, I don't know. Let me see, hold it up. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's too big, it's too big. So I'm gonna put that back, but ooh, oh. What is this? Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, it's Zara. It's a brand new tag, too. Oh, damn. How much is it? $10.99. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just going to put it in here because that is really cool. I love this. This is so cool. It's brand new with tags, too. Okay, yeah. It's going in there. This is a cute denim skirt. I really like this. Nice wash. Looks like it'd be like really nice and high-waisted. Got some buttons and it's only $4.99. That is so cute. I do think this is gonna be too small. So I'm gonna keep going, but I wish that one fit. Ooh, this is a cute tank. I like this, this is really cute. Oh, does it have like an open back there? Yeah, it does have an open back. Ooh, that's really cute. I like this color too. And it's a really cute tank. The only thing is it's kind of short. Um, I don't like it that cropped. I would prefer it was a bit longer. Holy. It is Urban Outfitters too, so that's pretty cool. $8.99, yeah, solid. Okay, honestly, would anyone ever wear this skirt? Honestly, I would feel so uncomfortable like I couldn't even just wear that in my house. Like, I don't know how someone wore that. That is so short. Is it just me or does anyone else have trouble in the cardigan sweater section? I am always here looking for like cute little button up brandy sweaters to pair with a night nice skirt or jeans. And I never can- And I never can find any cute like short sleeve button up ones. Like I feel like they should be pretty common, but I just never can find them. I'm so frustrated. I'm always looking, I feel like I've been looking for a year and I can just like never find what I'm looking for. It's like so frustrating. And if I didn't explain that well, this is kind of what I'm looking for right here. And it's hard, it's really hard. So this is what I think I'm gonna find. And this is what I realistically find in the cardigans section. It's a nice little guest top. I like it, but it is $10.99. So I'm gonna put that back. Look at this Aritzia top. Oh my gosh, this blouse. It is very, very vibrant. I don't know why I kind of like it. Is green in though? I'm not really sure if this color's in or out. Like, is it old now? Is it still in style? I don't really know. It's $12.99, but it is really, really nice. This top, it wouldn't like be my first choice, but I'm still really intrigued. I don't know why. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to go look at it in the mirror and see what it looks like. 
I hate how these mirrors are so short. I always have to like bend down to like see myself in the mirror. But anyway, here's the shirt. It's hard to tell what it looked like. Um, I don't know why. I kind of dig this green. But actually, you know what? It's a button up. I'm just gonna unbutton it and put it on top. Okay, I'm having a really hard time. I don't know if I look like a grandma or it actually looks good. I don't know. It's hard to tell because obviously I have a shirt underneath, but hmm, I don't know. This is really tough. I like it, but I also don't. It's, uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Okay, the more and more I look at it, I'm just kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging this grandma blows. Speed this dressing up, otherwise I'm gonna get like hangry pretty soon. Oh my gosh, did anybody have one of these as a kid? You know, like these stretchy tops. These were like the bomb in elementary school. I remember getting one of these and it was my absolute favorite shirt for so long. Okay, so the purse section is a section I rarely go to, but today I'm feeling frisky and I'm gonna try it. Okay, okay, look at this. Look at this brown bag. Ooh, I'm digging this. I am digging this bag. This is really, really cute. I wonder what brand it is. It's kind of like a fake snakeskin kind of thing. Mm, or no, I am not too sure about that brand. You never heard it doesn't really matter, but I think it's cute. How much is it though? Ooh, it's 11.50. Yeah, I don't like it that much. Look at this, it's a bag made out of a pair of jeans. Isn't that snazzy? That's pretty cool. Anything else? Any other keepers? Oh, here's a cute one. That's a cool backpack. What else? Oh, those puppies. I like those puppies, this is so cute. Look at this, oh, this is actually pretty rad. Let me see this, let me see this, okay. Do a little twirl, do a little twirl, yes. That's pretty snazzy, it's $10. Um, I don't know if I like these dogs that much. So, yeah, I'm gonna say bye-bye. Anything else, anything else? I don't see anything else, damn it. Dang, what a, oh, there's more, huh, Never mind. there's more. I have just realized that I've been here for over two hours and I'm not supposed to spend that much time on my foot, so I gotta go. I gotta cut this thrift of me a little short and I gotta go rest my foot. <sighs> yes, I'm in my boyfriend's shorts right now because they're really comfy. Oh my gosh, I took a boyfriend. <laughs> He's my fiance. He's not my boyfriend anymore. That's funny. I haven't said that in a long time, but anyways. I'm really excited to show you all the haul from today's video. I am so pumped. I am so excited. Today's thrift with me was really, really enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. The thrift store did not let me down. Once again, my favorite thrift store was, it was a gem to me. So I'm really excited to get into this haul. So I'm gonna just jump right in and show you everything I got. Okay, so the first item I have here is this nice little white cotton, not really lacy, but it has kind of like a lacy pattern on it, cotton tank. I think this one is so cute. This one is from Topshop. I wash all these clothes, so I don't remember the prices of everything. I feel like this one was like $7.99, $7.50 or something. It was like meh, the pricing, most of the pricing today was 
meh, it wasn't great, but it's Value Village, so what do you really expect? But anyways, I love this tank because it does have like the ties at the top here, and I feel like that is so cute and so in trend right now. So I was really happy to find this top. It is just nice and light and flowy for summer because it is gonna get hot, and pretty soon I'm just gonna wanna wear the flowiest and lightest clothes and the lightest color clothes possible. So I am excited for this. This is gonna be nice and cool for the summer, and I definitely think I'll be wearing it a lot. A lot. Did I say that word? A lot. Lut, lut. The next item is another tank. It is this Cuba tank that I found in the men's t-shirt section. I thought this was so, so cute. It is definitely kind of like a retro vibe. So if you've ever been to Cuba, then you've definitely seen the cars there. They are so freaking cool. I love them. That is like the main thing I remember when I went to Cuba was the cars there. They were absolutely amazing. I didn't ride in one, which I probably should have. Anyways, enough about my trip. I love this t-shirt. I will probably crop it. Um, I know my solution to a lot of things is to crop it to make it cuter, which shouldn't be the solution, so don't listen to me when I say crop it to make it better. Just don't crop all your clothes because you're going to regret it. But there is a time and place for cropping, and I think maybe I'll crop this. I don't know. I don't know. I still gotta think about it, but I really like this shirt. It's definitely kind of out of my comfort zone. A lot of items actually today are out of my comfort zone. Usually I get a lot of neutral colors, but today I am bright and colorful. I think it's just because it was so nice out and it was just so pretty and so bright. So that is why I think I bought a lot of bright colored clothing. Okay, and another item I found in the men's section was this tie-dye tee. I did buy a lot of colorful clothing, especially with this one. I love this tie-dye t-shirt because it is kind of like a pastel color and I don't really have any pastel colors really in my wardrobe and pastel colors are definitely very very in right now so I saw this and I thought this was so cute it's just like a random graphic from this ranch in Hawaii but um obviously I have never been there but I still like the shirt and the tie-dye and it's so small a graphic you don't really see it at all except the back there and the front is like it's hardly noticeable and this one was $2.99. So I thought that was a crazy good deal, especially because I actually got 20% off that as well. So it was like $2.29 maybe. I don't know. Next item was this Wilfred Aritzia top. This is definitely something um, I never would envision myself buying or wearing, to be honest. But for some reason, I just had this urge to get it and I just love and hate it, to be honest. I love it but I also hate it. I don't know why. The color is super bright, um, which is usually not something I wear, but I don't know. I'm changing things up. I think summer's got to me and I just want everything to be bright and colorful right now. So definitely surprised I got this. This was actually $12.99 at Value Village. So I think I got it for like 10 something. So it was a pretty good deal, especially for Wilfred Aritzia. So I'm excited for this top. I'm really excited and I'm proud of myself for actually going outside of my comfort zone and not buying just all white and beige clothes today. And the next item I got was this Gap sweater. I have been on the lookout for Gap sweaters for so long and I finally, finally got one. I don't know why, but I'm definitely feeling like the 2000 vibes of like Gap sweaters, you know, when everyone used to have like a Gap sweater and like maybe all kids had a Gap sweater. I know I had one when I was little and I've just been feeling, you know, the look of having the vintage Gap logo on. This is definitely not vintage at all. It's probably like 2000s because they have like a different Gap logo there. It's not like their actual old Gap logo that's here. So I have no idea when this is from sometimes they actually have a label on the side here saying like the year it was released but this one oh, it got cut out so i don't know but it doesn't really matter when it's from i like it this was in the men's section it was i think the first item i found today and i am just obsessed it was 550 so i ended up getting it for like 450 i think something like that because it's 20 percent off so four dollars for a sweater that's pretty, pretty insane. And the last item I got were these jeans. And before they were actually long jeans, but I recently just cut them. When I got home, I just put everything into the wash and washed it and sanitized it. And then after I washed it, I cut these because I wanted to put them into the dryer cut so I would get this really nice 
fray at the bottom because that's how I find that you can get the nice fray edging when you're cutting like jeans into shorts. So I definitely wanted to cut them before they were dried. And I'm really happy I did because they look really, really good. The only thing is I don't know about the lengths. I think they'll be a good length. Um, I wanted them a bit longer just because I'm into like the longer shorts right now and I don't have a pair of longer shorts. So crossing my fingers, they work, which I'm pretty sure they will work. They look really cute. These were the only item that didn't have a tag on them. So I had to ask them to like tag them and I was hoping that they wouldn't be too expensive. They came back at $9.99. So I was like, me, that's, yeah, it's okay. Like it's not great, but it's not terrible. So I was like, yeah, I'll get them, especially because I had like a coupon. So they, they ended up being $8. So $8 for these shorts. I don't think that's that bad. But anyways, that is all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this thrift with me and the thrift haul. And if you did, let me know down below what your favorite item was today. I think my favorite item today is this green shirt. And I'm saying that because I think this is pretty rad for some reason. I also think it's kind of ugly for some reason. So this one is definitely making me think a lot about my fashion choices. Um, I don't know. I love it and hate it. So I think this is my favorite item today. But yeah, I would love to hear what item was your favorite today. So you can let me know down in the comments below which item you liked the best today. Or maybe you saw an item today that I was thrifting and I ended up not purchasing. Let me know if you saw something that I, I just missed out on. But yeah, that is it. So I want to say thank you again for watching today's video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. You were hiding the whole time. Vincent, you were hiding. They want to say hi to you. You didn't say hi to anyone. You were sleeping that whole time. Oh. <laughs> you were going to fall asleep, aren't you? Your eyes are closing. Oh. You wake up too early today? Did you wake up too early today? You literally woke up at like 8.30 today. It was too early yesterday. You slept until like 11? Yeah. Too early for Benson. Too early. Oh, <laughs> you're sleepy boy. You're such a sleepy boy. Oh, your eyes are closed. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so funny. You're so funny.